All right, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to Spain uh, and Portugal. We're gonna do the El Camino walk. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna spend a couple days in Madrid and a little bit in Lisbon and Portugal. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Okay, and now we have just arrived in Spain and we are going to explore central Madrid, uh, go to some palaces and eat some food, but yeah. All right, so we made it to the first stop of our trip, uh, or my itinerary. We made it to the plaza, the mayor plaza, mayor, I don't know how to pronounce that. But yeah, it's just a giant square with a bunch of like little shops around. Now we have come to the front of the palace. Here we have a view from the palace of Madrid. Also come to the cathedral. Um, it's right, it's actually right opposite the palace. Ooh, the palace. But yeah, here's the cathedral of Madrid. My first glass of Tinto. Everyone else is having water. Here's our first meal at a restaurant in Spain. I got some uh, salmon toast, I believe. We got some shrimp paella, and mom got some gumbos. Well, in the paella, we found a shrimp with a uh, claw, like pincers. It's like a mutant shrimp. <laughs> Do you know what it's called? It's called claw. Claw. We have finally come to a park. Uh, it's a park in the new part of Madrid. Uh, we're gonna see some fountains. Um, and then I think we're kind of pooped. We've been walking all over Madrid. So uh, yeah, going back to the hotel. We're out for dinner. Let's see if we get the bread. We got some croquets. Excuse me. Get some bread? I got a pinto. Yeah. All right, and now the food has come. Uh, sea bass. Got some shrimp tacos, and I got a steak with French fries. Thing I forgot to mention about with this restaurant is that the whole time the um, the menu was in Spanish, and we did not know how to read the menu. Wow, that's a big thunder or lightning. Um, so we used Google Translate, and we. Order pretty good food. Everyone swiped their food. I have to finish my potatoes, but even the same or oh, tinto. Morning from early morning in Madrid. Uh, we're leaving Madrid to go to Surya, um, which is where we're gonna. It's like the starting part of where our walk is. But yeah, we're in Madrid this morning. I'm gonna take the metro to a train station. And then hop on for like four hours to to get to Saria. Let's see. Yeah, Madrid was pretty fun. All right, so we just came out of the train station, but uh, this is the town we got dropped off in. Um, and then in two hours or so, we'll take a train to Saria, start our walk. And we made it to this bridge that has steps that you can go all the way up to the top and come across the other side. All right, yeah. Well, now I made it to the top of the bridge and uh, actually pretty nice view of the town. Whoa, my legs are hurting from walking up the stairs, but you can see a better view of the city and the river and the, the water. All right, so we just made it to Saria, which is the first place on the walk of El Camino. Uh, El Camino, oof. We got to our hotel, and now we're uh, scouting around the place, uh, the little town for uh, some food, and uh, where we will potentially be having dinner. All right, my lunch has come. I got a chicken sandwich with this egg. But yeah, chicken, and I got some french fries, and I got my sangria. Mom has her sandwich. Got a, a vlog dad's food. He got a burger uh, with fries.
guys. With the El Camino walk, uh, you have to get like these stamps on this like passport to um, confirm that you actually walked um, on the El Camino. And you have to get like stamps from like churches. We just found our first church. We were looking for it forever. We now we finally found it. Um, dinner, but um, I got steak and chips with uh, calamari and my tinto. Uh, Mom also got a tinto, and then Mom and Dad shared a paella. For desserts, we have uh, Santiago cake. Good morning. It is the first day of El Camino walk. Uh, it's early in the morning, and we're getting our bags ready for our walk. We're sending those bags plus our suitcase to the next hotel. But we have a long walk today, 21 kilometers. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a rough one. My legs are already hurting from the one day we walked in Madrid, the one, the half day we walked in Surrey. All right, we arrived at breakfast. We got some cake, some fruit, some cheese. All right, we have officially started walking. Oh, um, <laughs> we have now come across this bridge. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's only been uh, about 30 minutes, 25 minutes of walking. <laughs> oh. To my own device, I never had to compromise. The city is like a jungle, I gotta make it mine. Probably about 2k so far. Um, I'm in the lead. Mom's already tired, she's taking four rest breaks just to go up this tiny hill. But uh, soon you're gonna be looking pretty nice. All right, now we're walking in like this country area. We see a bridge. I think a small town up ahead. Let's continue the walk. All right, we're walking on the El Camino, and I found the donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, walking. Um, we are currently, I think, uh, like four k in for our day of twenty one k. Um, it's only been about an hour and a little bit. So hopefully we'll reach in good pace, but uh, honestly, I think towards the end, we'll get tired and we'll only probably arrive at like five, but we'll see what happens. Only two and a half hours in, uh, the time actually flew, flew by. Yeah, we are pretty going pretty strong, um, but now they have two sticks instead of one. I'm not sure if we'll we make it. We stopped halfway at the... Uh, little town and I got a ham and cheese sandwich dad got a chorizo sandwich all right so we're roughly like five kilometers out from the town and uh, if you can see that tiny town over there I believe that's Porto Maine Ooh. yeah that's Porto Maine and uh, apparently some history is that it got submerged because they let the river flood it and now it's rebuilt. All right, so we're walking uh, on our way to Porto, Porto Marin and uh, I met my friend named Todd. Uh, yeah, and his buddy named Billy is coming to check me out too. All right, so a quick update. Almost at uh, Porto Marin, Porto Marin. Uh, don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, pretty nice view of like fields. And over there, that's the uh, town that we're going to be staying in at. But yeah, day one almost completed. Let's go. But yeah. Also, who knew day one would actually, like, the time that went by so fast. It doesn't feel like so many hours passed. We have finally found the Spanish grapes, what they use for the Spanish wines. Or tinto con la manada. We're just crossing the river. Pretty nice river. There's the mom. But yeah, we just made it to Porto Maine, so that means day one is finally completed. 
we have arrived at our hotel and we have this wonderful view of uh i think those are probably grapevines and then of the river but yeah it's right into our hotel um but yeah it was pretty nice uh i really like the view all right so for tonight's dinner in porto mayon porto mayon uh i butchered that name anyways we have a, a tuna pie um we also have um a large bottle of red wine then we got some lemonade so i can make my own tea and toe. and then we got a bottle of wine mom's having um some steak all right i got my second course which is steak and chips dad got his second course and i'm still working we got a salad as well by the way all right and for our final course i got a lemon cornetto which is a really unique flavor and dad got some almond cake my lemon cornetto literally has lemon on the ice cream all right day two of the el camino walk uh oh, you're still smiling we're just leaving Porto Marin, um, and we're off to um, something de Ruz or de Re, Parar or de Re. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but we have a pretty long walk today. We got uh, 25 kilometers, um, so ho hopefully we make it. So currently we have to climb like 700 meters uh, upwards to our halfway point. And then we'll be going back down. So as of now, we're currently climbing up this mountain. Everyone's out of breath because it's super early in the morning and no one's warmed up yet. So we're now about an hour in on day two. Um, this is our view. There's so many people, but like pretty good so far. Very windy though. Of hills <laughs> there's a lot of hills we're climbing i've only been walking uphill Look at the view though pretty nice mom keeps taking rest breaks but we keep on moving i think we have to walk for like or wait we're about two and a half hours in um i think we still have like 16 or 15k left so, probably done only about 10k so far today. All right, so looks like we just hit like roughly the 20 kilometer mark. Um, so we have about five to four k's left um, until we're done with day two. Uh, honestly, back's kind of hurting, legs are hurting. Uh, I got no walking stick though. Mine's in the suitcase, and I left it. Nah, but it's fine. Been doing pretty good without it. We just hit the 71 kilometer mark. That means in total, we've walked uh, roughly 40 kilometers in two days. That's pretty good. There's not much of a view at the moment. We're just walking along a road. Right, so we just found our hotel. Um, right off the walk trail right there, and it's right over here. I was like, wow, this place looks like the place on paper. My dad, and he was like, he looks at the sign, he's like, oh my gosh, that actually is our place. So, we made it really early, it's like two. Alright, so a couple, a couple hours have passed. Um, we went to the hotel, and we kind of freshened up and stuff. Since our hotel's like an hour away from uh, the actual town, like walking wise, an hour, um, we decided to stay in the hotel for a bit, freshen up, and now we're back on the walk um, to go to church and the town and uh, look around to see what the town is like and stuff. But yeah. All right, we have made it to the town, or sort of. Uh, you can see the town through the trees. But yeah. We finally made it. That means day two completed. But day three is going to be the worst one. That's like 28 kilometers. 
We'll see how it goes. We got some wine and some lemonade, so you know what that means. Tinto time. Cheers. The Tinto cheers. All right, I got my first course. I got a vegetable soup. Dad got uh, a salad. My mom, she got a toast and a cheese platter. All right, and now dinner has come. My second course, I got pork knuckle with the uh, potato chips and that got veal. veal. All right, we got our desserts now. I got mousse de lemon, which is just lemon mousse. And that got uh, fun or caramel custard. Good morning. It is day three. Um, today we have a pretty long walk. We got uh, 28 kilometers, um, which should take us roughly the whole day. We were hoping to have a good pace, but uh, people told uh, the uh, someone told us that like one of the last like climbs is gonna be like really brutal. So ah, kind of nervous for today. Also, my legs are kind of hurting a little bit. Uh, I had to stretch this morning. Um, yeah, well, day three. Here we go. All right, so today we started off at marker uh, 67. We started off at the marker at 67, and uh, we should be reaching at like 40 or 39, which is crazy to think since only two days ago we started off at 115, 114. So it's quite crazy. have a really nice view and we have a cornfield and this random house over here a very picturesque morning i'd say all right so we've roughly done about 10k so far for today um and we've made a pretty good time we've only been walking for about two hours and a bit um but we still have like 18 or 19k left for today this is our view it's not much, it's just all wilderness. This marker marks the halfway point. The halfway point of our walk in total. That was the uh, 160, no, no, it was. That's the 55 kilometer mark, or 55,000 kilometer marker. Um, and we started at uh, 113, so more or less halfway. Still going strong? Yes. Dad? Yeah, oh, no, he's, we have a snitch. Yeah, snitch. He's not going strong. His legs are hurting. Cramping up. To a town in the Valley Day. We're in the park. We took off our socks because to get our air feet a break. Now we're making our sandwiches for lunch. Um, we didn't realize that we would pass through such a busy town we could have ate, so we packed our lunch this time instead. Yeah, the shoulders are hurting, the legs are good though. Oh, my sandwich. Alright, we got, we got a dessert from the Spanish bakery. You want to hold the bag? There it is. Dessert. All right, so we just uh, started walking again after our halfway point. So 14 kilometers to go until we made it to our Rosura. All right, so we stopped for a little ice cream break. I got my Polo Up Lama Limon, and I got his uh, Cornetto. Uh, it's a very nice, peaceful cafe. 
pretty hot day on our walk. First few days were pretty nice and cool and the wind was blowing quite well. But now there's no cloud in sight. It's just the sun somewhere above. But yeah, it's hot. And there's no shade as well. We're walking through like some villages and stuff. Yeah, there's no shade. It's hot. Well, now there is, but yeah, we get the point. It's hot. We're tired. We have 8K left for today. Um, but yeah, almost done. All right, so now we're like five or four K away from the town. That's what our view is like walking through some cornfields and some vineyards. But we ran out of water. Ugh. It's going to be a very long, long 5K without water. And there's no clouds still. It's still very, very hot. And there's no shade anywhere to be found. To this cafe. And uh, my dad told me to go order or go get us some water. So I went to the lady and was like, uh, un agua bottle. And she literally goes, no, waves her hand and then like makes me go away. And I'm like, huh? You could, but I see like people on the other table is just having like water bottles. I'm like, well, why didn't it work? And then dad goes in and goes, water bottle. And he gets two water bottles. I'm like, what? I spoke the Spanish and I got rejected. All right. So we made it to Arunza. We're in the town right now. But uh, my dad, uh, tracked on his watch to see how long we actually walked for today. We walked eight hours. <sighs> I'm tired. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to church real fast. To church, and then um, we'll go to our hotel. All right. So now we've come to dinner. I got my bread. Table plate. I got some cheese, water, and some wine. All right, so the dinner just got served. I got lamb chops, potato fries, and a salad. Dad got some hake, hake, a hake fish, uh, Gaijian style, Galician. Galician style. And what did you get, Mom? Lamb with noodles. Lamb with noodles. The waiter just kind of just took my plate and everyone else's plate without me vlogging, saying that everyone finished their food and everything was good. He just took it. He just took it away. I did manage to sneak up one photo of um, my plate. It was all done, but um, it was really good. And for dessert, we got a sponge cake with hot chocolate. But there's some sort of cream as well. Very yummy. Now at breakfast again. I got uh, ham and cheese. It's a toast. I got a donut. And I got some orange juice. Very big um, breakfast this morning. Alright, day four of El Camino. We got 25 kilometers to walk today. Um, we're walking through the trees. My legs are a little hurting from yesterday. But, uh, yeah, almost done. Mm, second last day. About a kilometer in and mom's already dead. Dead tired. We still got... <laughs> we still got 24 kilometers left. Mom's tired up the snow. There are two people on horseback. So I, looking back at my footage, I just realized that for today, I... I said the wrong uh, distance that we we're doing. I said 25 kilometers. We're actually just doing 21. We stopped for a lunch break. I got a, a cheeseburger. I got a cheeseburger with everything. And uh, I got some Tinto as well. Currently, we're still walking on uh, the El Camino. But it's really weird because usually there's always someone behind us. Someone behind us. Or someone in front of us. But it's just like very quiet and no one's around. And then also we never found that town. <laughs> and uh, now we don't really know where we're walking to. But the kilometers are just going down.
luckily we found the town. Uh, we just the 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 trail actually skipped the town, so you have to go back and find the town. But yeah, we made it to the town. So we're on our return back from the uh, town now. Everything was closed because we arrived in the siesta time. Um, all the shops were closed. Uh, the church was closed. Everything was closed. Uh, so now we're just gonna keep on walking. Same old, same old. All right, we're back for dinner part two. <laughs> Different day, dressed up a little more fancy, colored t-shirt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, our start of course, which is bread and cheese, and we got this wine. It pours so little in this tiny, in this large glass. All right, so our starters came, and we have the fried octopus. Um, it is a um, it is a speciality in Spain. I'm actually kind of nervous with trying the octopus because you can see the little suction cup thingies, reactions, reactions. Uh oh! Oh gosh! What does that mean? My turn. Just take a small piece. It's a little bit crunchy. And then, well, oh, I don't like it. You do like rock this? Mm. <laughs> I don't like it. It's not an octopus. <laughs> not an octopus fan. All right, and now the dinner has come from the main course. I got a steak with fries and vegetables. Mom got the hawk cake or a cake, and Dad got a shrimp. And Dad actually got monkfish instead of shrimp. Is it shrimp? Wait, no, what? Monkfish and shrimp. Oh, it's actually monkfish and shrimp on a skewer. We got breakfast again. It is finally here. The last day of the El Camino. We have 16 kilometers to walk today until we reach Santiago. Final day, let's go. We are almost there. We have 6K left. We're currently five miles or five kilometers away. Santiago, we see some hills. But if you see over this one hill, I believe that is Santiago. It looks quite far from here, but should only take about an hour or so. Shouldn't be too bad. Approaching Santiago. Here's the city. It's almost done. We got like I think three or four K left. Alright, we finally made it to Santiago de Capistela, the city. Now we're just uh walking around uh the town seeing all the interesting stuff about it. We made it to the cathedral. The author is insane. And the artwork above is also quite crazy. All right, so our team show has arrived in, uh, in Santiago de Capsta. We're about to have dinner at this cafe. All right, for dinner, mom got a ham and shrimp risotto. A dad got a classic calamari sandwich. We got another glass of tinto. And my burger has come. I got a veal burger. Looking quite massive. It's day five in Santiago. Or day five of the El Camino has come to an end. We reached Santiago de Capistela. Um, and now it's nighttime. Ate dinner. 
Uh, now we're returning to our hotel. And then tomorrow we'll spend the day in uh, Santiago again and then head over to Lisbon. Ooh. And here we are at our last breakfast spot in Spain. I got some cereal, got some fruit and the Spanish omelet, and I got a dessert as well. After the El Camino, we're all feasting for breakfast now. Last day in Spain, last day in uh, Saint Juan, Saint, Saint, Santiago, let's, not Saint Juan, who is Saint Juan? <laughs> Anyways, we also got some uh, Padro peppers. Padro peppers. Padro pepper. All right, so we're at our last Spanish restaurant. We have a Spanish beer. Uh, we've seen this everywhere. Everyone's been like day drinking this. Um, and then we have a salad coming, a crispy chicken and mango salad. Right, our salad has a has arrived. Uh, done with lunch. Uh, now we are off to the airport. Uh, let's go to uh, Lisbon. And we'll have three days in Lisbon. And then we will be back to the United States. <laughs> so we have made it to Portugal. Um, and currently we are in this like garden. Kind of by uh, the ocean. Um, yeah, we just came out of a pretty big shopping mall. And uh, here's some footage of it. And yeah, so we're just walking through this garden. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, quite weird. And there was also a pond over there with some fish. Um, but yeah, we finally made it to Portugal. And we're going to spend a day just looking around Portugal. Tomorrow we have a day of, uh, we have a tour planned for the whole day. And then we're going to be going back to uh, the United States. Now we're in a cable car and we're gonna go over Lisbon on the uh, the ocean and stuff. Yo, the ride has just started and here we are. We're going up. Whoa. The train to old Lisbon. We made it to uh, the square. Uh, Pretty bustling street. So many people around. Right, we're currently at this pretty famous, fan, pretty famous and fancy uh, seafood restaurant called uh, Nicola Cafe. Um, they specialize in their fish, so we're gonna get a couple of fish dishes um, and to try it out and stuff. But we're right off the streets in Portugal. Of the square it has a nice fountain and a pillar. So for lunch, mom got a prawn curry rice. Dad got a um, dad dad got a uh, fried cod, and I got a salmon rice with prawns. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but there's a rest in a giant tub over there. And for dessert, we have flan, or at least what's left of it. We've been demolishing it, and now there's one tiny sliver left. And we got a little dessert as well, which is like a Italian like gelato yeah, ice cream, yeah. but it has like um, kind of shaped of like a flower. But yeah, quite nice. McDonald's for dinner and this right here is a large coke but it's the size of like like a small or a, or a medium at most yeah their sizes are not not American standard right that includes the 
day in Portugal. We had a pretty fun day. Visit a lot of different things. Um, and tomorrow we're gonna go on a um, a tour of uh, Fatima and other places in Portugal. Should take up the whole day. And then after that, we're uh, gonna say bye to Europe and fly back to the United States. All right, last day in Portugal. Um, today we have a tour of uh, Fatima and some other towns. Uh, but yeah, excited for last day. Uh, and then we're we'll be going home. All right, so for breakfast, we're at this coffee shop and I got this ham puff and I think I got a spinach puff with some orange juice and some coffee. And dad got a, um, a ham and toast with cheese, but it turned out to have a salad on the side. So we made it to Fatima. We're walking around the streets. A lot of fig trees around uh, Portugal. A lot of fig trees and cork trees. And also a lot of olive trees. Made it to the uh, Basilica, I think in uh, Portugal. That's it right there. But there's also a giant metal cross as well. This is where they're lighting their candles in that huge fire. But this is the line just to throw in your candles there. It goes, oh, not get lost. It goes all the way back there. That's the same line, just to light your candle. We just came for lunch um, at this restaurant. Um, we have uh, bread for hey, starters. Drink. Our drinks have arrived. We all have a glass of white wine, locally made from the Portugal grapes. And they also got a Coca-Cola. So mom got uh, a pork with chips and clams. I got a uh, hick fillet with salad and rice and chips. And I got a pork chop with uh, fries, rice, and a salad. And for dessert, we have a mousse, I think. Yeah, we see this uh, guy on a horse. But this cool looking monastery church thing. So apparently that could be grandma's ancestor uh, because it's a Pereira. Yeah, I'm if you're watching. Do you know this man? Or is he your ancestor? <laughs> so looking at this agriculture, oh no, the architecture, uh, there looks like people coming off the sides. And then at the top, there's like, I think, uh, animals or something. So uh, I was looking around and I think I found probably the ruins of a ancient castle up on that hill right up there. Possibly, or it could just be a, just some stone bricks. Now we're in uh, some sort of marketplace by this like enclosed castle. All right, so we've come to the, uh, I guess the castle walls, main wall to get into the city. This is inside the town. And we've made it to the, oh my gosh. Oh, no, it actually rings the bell. Um, it actually rang the bell. Pretty cool. So this is, I think, this is probably the uh, center of the city. There's a little square and stuff. But yeah, got some chocolate liqueur. Cheers. Mm. Quite nice. I hold it by the teacup. This is the uh, the Roman aqueduct uh, to transfer water from uh, a lake, and it goes right into the city. I think this is the end of the tour. Uh, we had a pretty good day um, visiting a lot of different churches and looking at the architecture and uh, getting to try some cool food 
and drinks um, and everything. But um, yeah, it's a very good day in uh, Pochettino.